Good everyone. Uh, I'm Ian Preston from Pegos. I'm going to talk to you about NABU, which is a, a Java IPFS implementation. But first, I'm going to answer a question that's probably on everyone's mind. Why Java? <laughs> Do I really want to be writing abstract factory factory IPFS <laughs> implementation beans? Uh, well, actually, there are, there are a bunch of reasons. So it's a, it's a super popular language. Uh, it's the third most used language uh, behind Python and JavaScript, or C, depending on your metric. Uh, it's universal. It runs on mobiles, in browsers, desktops, IoT. Uh, Fang are big users of it. Uh, the 90% of Fortune 500 use it. And there's huge corporate buy-in. So if you want companies to use it, that's a good idea. So I think some people here found that uh, trying to run a Go binary at Microsoft is actually a, a big problem, um, whereas they're totally set up to run, to run Java. So uh, I, I, this actually surprised me, actually, but it's a, apparently faster than Go, according to the Debian benchmarks game. Uh, it has world-leading pauseless GCs. Uh, JVM and Java are extremely durable and backwards compatible. Like, I've personally run code that I wrote 20 years ago, unmodified, uh, and, and, and run it again today, and it still works. Um, and runtime code loading, i.e. plugins, are a first-class citizen. But enough about Java. Let's talk about Nabu. If the clicker works. Yep. So Nabu it aims to be a minimal, embeddable IPFS implementation. So you can store and serve your blocks over standard P2P. Uh, our motto is root your peers, not your content. So the idea is on the, on the application level, you often have more information about where your data is. So we want to let people use that and say, actually, I don't want to just ask the world for this data. I want to ask this node by this peer ID. Uh, so you can see uh, we've, for, for the get block call, we've added a, an optional argument, which is a, a set of peer IDs. Uh, if you don't supply that, then yes, we can still fall back to the DHC and do the normal, the normal lookup. Uh, and there's enough API if you want to implement GC or pinning externally, uh, if desired. So what's the current status? Uh, we've only been working on it for two months, but it's already usable. Uh, we have uh, the TLS security transport with early Maxa negotiation, Kademlia, including IPNS. Uh, there's BitSwap with an auth extension and, and the secure API to use it. Uh, there's a peer-to-peer -peer HTTP proxy, which, uh, which is awesome. Everyone should use this, uh, this model. Um, it's also in Kubo. Uh, standard port mapping uh, and Bloom and Infinity filtered block stores. Uh, if you want to know what an Infinity filtered block store is, come talk to me later. They're super cool. Uh, so, real-world benchmarks. So this, this comes from Pegos. This is basically, can you mirror this DAG for me, please, as fast as possible? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a champ. It's six layers deep, about 6,000 blocks or about 20 megs. So not actually much data, uh, but a lot of blocks. Um, and mirroring this in Kubo currently takes 120 seconds using the pin command. Uh, Nabu takes 12 seconds. Um, this isn't actually optimized. It's... Uh, the theoretical minimum is, well, with BitSwap, which is, this is using, is um, six round trips. Uh, so it should be, you know, optimally about a few seconds. Um, so our conclusion from this is BitSwap, the protocol, isn't actually bad with sensible data structures. So, yeah, please do try it out and uh, give us some feedback. Uh, and come to my Sunday talk tomorrow on a better web and private data. And finally, a huge thank you to the IPFS fund, without which this wouldn't have happened. So thank you.